Hello and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If you haven't been here before, hi, my name is Sim. Usually on my channel, I make videos about my experience of moving from South Africa to the UK. But today I wanna make a video about an experience that all of us have shared. Doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter if you're in South Africa or the UK or any other place in the world, we've all now experienced a global pandemic. Here in Scotland, we are making progress. We have just come out of a four month lockdown and things are looking up. A lot of people in the UK have been vaccinated. And as we are moving forward, I've started to think about a few things that I'll probably never look at the same again now that I've gone through a pandemic. So that's basically what inspired this video. I'm sure there will be a couple of things you will be able to relate to, doesn't matter where you are in the world. If there's anything that I missed on my list or something that you look at differently now that you've been through a pandemic, let me know in the comments because I'm genuinely curious to know what they are. With all that said, let's get into the first thing that I look at differently now that I've gone through a pandemic. First up is banana bread. I'm sure you will remember this, but baking banana bread was a massive train back in March 2020 and April 2020, just when the first lockdown started. I'm not really sure why banana bread was the train, but I definitely wasn't complaining because personally I love banana bread. So this was definitely a train that I hopped on and I definitely baked some banana bread and some other goodies like cupcakes, biscuits, Overall, I think lockdown was just a good time to spend more time on cooking and baking because you had all that free time anyway, especially on weekends. You couldn't really go anyway, so you might as well spend your time trying out a new recipe. And the end result is something that you can eat, which is definitely a bonus for me. It's also cool that in the process you are learning new skills, improving your cooking and I think a lot of people did take the time to do online courses or training and hopefully do a few things that you always wanted to do but then you just never had the time but now suddenly you had all the time in the world. Next up is toilet paper. Remember when everyone was buying toilet paper and stockpiling groceries? Well, I was one of the few who thought that was a joke and basically just something that was going around on social media. So I didn't really take it that seriously. Because I didn't stock up, we were eventually about to run out of toilet paper. So I just ordered it like I would usually order it with my online groceries. And on the website, it didn't mention anything that it was out of stock. So I expected that everything was gonna be fine. When my groceries arrive a few days later, we will have toilet paper again. But then the day came for the groceries to arrive and on the day they can sometimes still let you know that some things are now out of stock and we had to substitute it. But in this case they didn't even have another brand of toilet paper to substitute it with. At this point I think we had like one roll of toilet paper left so it was a pretty desperate situation. I then went to multiple other grocery stores, convenience stores and still I couldn't find anything. Eventually we just ended up buying boxes of tissues because we didn't really have any other option. At that point we were still living in Oxford and we had two convenience stores really close to us so every day I would just walk to the convenience store and see if they maybe had any toilet paper. After a few days I luckily walked in and I saw a pack of four toilet rolls and honestly it was an amazing sight. I was so excited about this toilet paper. For a while that convenience store was the only place we could actually get toilet paper. There was never any toilet paper available on Sainsbury's, Tesco's, Amazon, all those places were sold out. Keeping with the theme of stockpiling, the next thing that I don't look at the same anymore is doomsday preppers. You know those shows of people with their secret bunkers where they have everything you need to survive a zombie apocalypse? Well those people were probably completely fine during a pandemic where everyone was freaking out about an unknown virus and buying too much toilet paper. They've been preparing for this their entire life. So maybe they even coped with it better because they were preparing for a situation like this. And I would actually be quite interested to know if any of them went to live in their secret bunkers for a while. Honestly, I used to think those people were being super dramatic and 
kind of wasting their time preparing for something that was never gonna come. Now that I've been through a pandemic, I definitely don't think it's such a crazy idea anymore. Because going through a pandemic was never something that I think any of us ever imagined we would go through. So who knows what's next? Next up is birthdays, which is why I have my birthday crown on. Just ignore the fact that the Y is missing, we're not gonna mention that. At this point, we've all had a lockdown birthday and I think it gets to a point where it's really tricky to find fun and new things to do at home. And of course, birthdays are usually a day that you spend with your family and friends. So it's really a time about being together and having fun. But with the lockdown restrictions, you obviously aren't allowed to see that many people. And that might mean that you aren't even able to spend your birthday with your closest family. So I think a lot of people realize this here, how important and valuable that time is with your family and your friends and how you shouldn't take it for granted because you never know, you might not even be able to spend your next birthday with them. Of course, for me, the situation is a bit different because even if it wasn't locked down, I still wouldn't have been able to see my family and friends because I am miles and miles away in a different country. So how my views have changed on birthdays through the pandemic is that I usually used to think that you have to go out, you have to get an outfit and go out for drinks and everything for your birthday. But this year we weren't able to go out and I honestly still had an amazing day just at home. And it still felt like a really special day and I had a really fun time. So I think I've realized that you don't necessarily need to go out, need to have a party. You can still have an amazing birthday without those things at home. Another thing that I will never be able to look at the same again is gyms. For me personally, I'm not sure if a gym membership is worth it anymore. Before lockdown, I used to have a gym membership and I used to go there three times a week. But then when the gyms were forced to close, I realized how many resources there are online for fitness. On YouTube, there are so many free workout videos for different styles and depending on your mood that day, you can do a different workout. So you don't necessarily have to stick to one routine or one form of exercise. Then you also get the paid plans. So you can buy a workout plan and it will usually also come with the eating plan. So if you want to have something more specific, that option is also there. And I didn't actually really know what I was doing at the gym. I was sweating, so I knew I was doing something. But I feel like with these programs, it's professional people that have put that together for you. So I do think you are more likely to see results. The only downfall of course is that sometimes it does help with motivation to actually go to a gym, which is the main reason why I had a gym membership. But I do feel like I've gotten more accustomed to exercising by myself at home, so I don't actually think I would get a gym membership again. I might look into a few classes here and there, but definitely not a full gym membership. A place that makes me feel a bit anxious when I think about all the people that are usually in it is a nightclub. Of course, the more people, the better the vibe. So you do want a lot of people there, but I also don't want to be pushing through people on the dance floor and the bar. Usually the bar is crowded with people. So how is that going to work with social distancing? I definitely still want to go to a nightclub because the last time I was in a nightclub was when I was two years younger. The last time I was in a nightclub was New Year's Eve for 2020, so I was 26 then and I'm 28 now. So I do feel a bit like I've missed out in the last part of my 20s, not being able to go out so much. A bigger thing on this list for me is traveling. I've always seen traveling as a luxury, so the pandemic hasn't changed my view in that sense, but usually you would only be limited by your budget. Whereas during the pandemic, you were actually limited by the fact that borders were closed. So I think in this case, it's more about having the freedom to be allowed to go to other countries if you have the means to do that. Being able to travel more is one of the main reasons why I actually moved to the UK from South Africa. So I kind of had the vision of moving to the UK and then being able to go to other countries in Europe over a long weekend. 
I also imagined that I would be able to go back to South Africa to visit my family and friends. So I didn't prepare myself for how long I would have to go without seeing all of them. So I think now that I've gone through this experience, I definitely will appreciate travel even more than I previously did. And even now when I just get to go to a different town that's just outside of Edinburgh, that's already just as exciting to me as being able to say go to Portugal. The very last thing on my list today is face masks. Our perception of face masks has changed drastically. It went from being something that only people that are living in Asian countries used to wear if they were feeling sick to being something that probably every single person in the world owns now. Personally, I have a few different ones to match different outfits. So your face mask has really become like an extension of your outfit. It can be an accessory. I also remember it being a bit uncomfortable to wear at the start and sometimes I would feel a bit claustrophobic because it's covering your mouth and your nose and it was also uncomfortable talking to people. But I think we're all so used to it now and Honestly, in the peak winter times here in Scotland, I actually enjoyed wearing my mask because it was kind of like an extra scarf around my face. And that's my list of things that I no longer look at the same after being in a pandemic. We've all had a lot of ups and downs through the last year and it's definitely been a difficult time. But hopefully there's some light at the end of the tunnel and I definitely feel like we are making progress and getting to a point where things will hopefully be more back to normal. As I said, if there's anything that you also have changed your view on, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please also remember to give it a thumbs up down below because that helps the YouTube algorithm to like this video. So that really helps my channel and I would appreciate it so much. And if you want to see more of my videos in the future, remember to subscribe because I post a new video every single week. Thank you so much for watching and then I'll see you in my next video.